Yeah, yeah. I could take my glasses off. I don't know, there's like a reflection. Um, I can't see, but then at least, you know, I just look towards the camera. <laughs> now with a little flashing. Um, this is Ron. And uh, today's the uh, 19th. And it's a Monday. And it's it's in the afternoon. It's about 4 p.m. or so. And Jeff will be home in about an hour. And I could feed the cats outside, but I, I'm sort of stuck. I will feed them, but I've been sort of stuck uh, with my um, expression that's going on. What was hitting me in the shoulder, which of course still is in a sense, um, but not attacks, is now hitting me in the hips, like electrical fields, and then through my legs. So I can't, I can't stand on one leg. I'll draw. So it's shuffling with two feet and making sure I don't stand on one leg. So keeping my my uh, steps close to close together, like a little shuffle. Yeah, and I lose strength after that, and the knees and everything. So it's all electrical. It's uh, neurological. Yes. What's being proposed? Oh, look, I'm out of water. Hmm. I'm still in drink, but I need to fill that up. Yeah, my glasses are all dirty anyways because the cat kept pulling them off my face. Mimo kept pulling them off my face. He thinks they're a toy. After all this time, he sees me in glasses, and now all of a sudden, now his reflection, he sees this little reflection or some kind of flashing. In the glass and he wants to grab them and pull them off my face so that's pretty funny so um uh, today today we're still dealing all month with the 88 you know the, the month and the year presentation as a as a gate so that lion's gate is the whole month it's it's the most incredible thing and one of the discoveries of understanding that you know, the lamb is not of the tribe of Judah, but he becomes the lion of the tribe of Judah because the lion itself is adopted. He's the only one that's, he's the righteous. He's the one that comes with righteousness. Yeah, so. That's how it works. And it would be someone that comes out of sin because well, that's what the reality of this world is. So it's going to be someone that comes out of sin through righteousness. And taken on as the adopted firstborn of the time of Judah. Which seems audacious when you think about it. <laughs> because uh, Judah is black. <laughs> so uh, who, who wants a who wants a white lion upon them? But they do. They need it. Yeah, they need the righteousness coming upon them. In restoration of who they truly are versus who is not. Who should have thrown themselves at their feet once it discovered who they truly are. Certainly. I believe that. And as far as the exit of us, which would have been the exodus, exit, the exodus was conducted over in, in false terms that I can I cannot, I cannot begin to uh, be dismayed or, or, I mean, come on, how can, how, how is it that osmosis, osmosis, the Pharaoh of the South, who kicked out the Hyksos, who you know were some kind of trash um, rulership. Probably the Greek. The Hyksos. The Gypsies. Who then later, of course, being run out, turned the whole story around because what? They had their own Moses, 
who stole from the Ark of the Covenant in an errand through two staves. Well, he was uh, definitely in the court of uh, Moses, he was in the court of, of the magicians and of the, um, the rituals and um, all their belief systems. So he had training and all that. He had access as a court, as a, as a member of the court of that temple of, you know, being the adopted son of the uh, Charles' wife. Certainly, that is the story. But see, it's all twisted. So we don't know, but we can see that in Egypt, it's written down how they rejected these filthy people to go die in the desert, which then they wandered for a generation, 70 to 80 years, to finally open up the promised land that Moses was never allowed to go into. Never. <clears throat> he split the rock once, he tried it again, and he failed, and that was it. He no longer could enter the promised land. And so what of the ark? Yeah, what of the temple that they built for God? Well, yeah. the ark of the covenant is here. You look on the back of the dollar bill and you can see that it's the mercy seat. The one on the back of the dollar bill. You can see the seraphim wings that support the two medallions, which is the old sons of God and the new sons of God. And how to open the dollar bill, you would find the mana, the budded rod, and the law. Yeah, it's within the mercy seat. And that's the representation, of course, of what I believe is here for that exit to come. And that's exit of us. That is, if Judah wants to be returned into the lands of their fathers. Which, of course, I say yes, <coughs> but not in the land of Judea. No, in the land of Solomon. In New Namibia and uh, Botswana. And underneath the sands of the Kalahari is his, is his treasure, is his temple, is, is Solomon's temple. Uh, untouched, waiting, it was meant to be cursed by Solomon himself to become uninhabitable by any livable standards. It would be a place of thieves and jackals, which it is. But this is a modern world. And one third of those sands of the sea, should, of, the, of Abraham, one third of Abraham's seed shall return to the sea. So the sands, the sands, well, the sands of any, any uh, accumulation, like white sands, like Sahara, like the Kalahari, like Death Valley, those are the bones of all that came before. Yeah, the dust, the sands of time itself. Yeah, so uh, it awakens. And, and, and there we find Solomon's truest treasure, and that's his minds, that no one has ever found. I'm sure that uh, Africa has diamond mines, the likes of which that would change the world, but diamonds are a girl's best friend. And, well, they're just rocks, and they're hard. And De Beers has a conglomerate, and it doesn't make any sense, so... That's not the true treasure. So anyways, that's what I believe. I truly believe that that's, would be the, uh, the truest representation of the lands of their fathers, would be Solomon's. Land. And of course, from Solomon and Temple, and David went to build a temple, he went to his own lands. He went to his own place, which was just another facsimile of what was above, what is below. 
that they should have the Nile going upward, that we should have the uh, the delta, the uh, this delta going through um, Louisiana, this whole expression of Mississippi down from one side to the other, an expression equal equal in its expression of the dynamic of the electric universe that would have nodes of uh, quite interesting facilities, just like the Grand Canyon. You know that. Oh, I, I know that. Mm -hmm. I do. I rolled a joint. Well, oh, not really. It's one of those little loading um, jackets. Isn't that what they call it? It's jackets. These are jackets. Comes with a little plunger and you plunge it and you load it and then it allows you to sit there and have it like a, a smoke without all the fuss of the pipe and all that. It blows my lungs out, but in the condition that I'm in right now in my body, I could care less, you know. And the pain that I've gone through through the, the past few evenings has been un unbelievable, which totally knocks out what we're going to go for over the next uh, week, which means I'd rather just cancel those appointments and save the money, save, save everybody money, but it's our, it needs to be done anyways. We, it's not going to hurt to have a cat's can of the thoracic and the, the cervical spine and with the shoulder. Because that's what we were focusing on. But now this whole business where I'm shuffling like a little old guy, you know, taking little steps because my hips are firing these electrical storms that can't hold up my muscles, my muscles just give way once the, the shock hits. And radiating down to the knee, under the kneecap, and it's like a fire. And my projection is that it's going from up here, <laughs> that way, downward electrically, that it should hit the ankles, you know, in the soul body. And then, you know, because Venus is the knees. And yet, yeah, I think Venus in, in the sky, there's something about Venus in the sky right now. But anyways, um, in the charting. But uh, as it goes down the electrical field, it hits the horizon. So your feet are on the horizon. So whatever exchange from the sun to the earth, uh, CME, electrical discharge, whatever it is that comes to the earth, it hits the horizon first. And if you're standing in the soul body, well, it's your feet, it hits your ankles and rises up out the top of your head. Ooh, blows your head off. <laughs> no, but if you were in the grave, it would, you know, if your head was on the horizon. So if it hits the horizon and your head is in the grave and you're asleep because you're just asleep, boom, you might get a little head, head injury. You, know, boom. you might get woken up. <laughs> So anyways, um, and it might not feel too good, you know, to have to wake up to the mess that you have in front of you when it used to be paradise. Because that's what, anybody that wakes up from the grave is going to come from the past. So whatever they see is going to be trashed. Yeah, they had the best. We have the worst. Could you imagine the nightmare? No, why is so hard to hit? They're not sucking at it. So all month, the 88, and it presents today with the 19, which is that 1 and 9 is 10. That's the thief. That's the patch, the one with the patch over his eye. The pirate. And you know, the pirate is Freemason as it would be the skull and crossbones. CIA, false intelligence, false state of the beast system. So it's not like it's hiding. No, it's not hiding. It's right there in front of your eyes. 322 or whatever. So anyways, um, that thief that it presents upon with the, the two eights as a seven, which is internal. Internal. It's internal. So it's memory. It's internal. And it's as an angle, so it's light. And so it's understanding, if you know of it, but it's, it's a truly... Uh, an angel as it would be um, facilitated upon to place itself in the day 
through Lion's Gate to make an eight. <laughs> Power and control, which is, um, it's the hourglass as it is time spent, as it is the sacrifice of the manager, as it is the business owner, as it is the politician. So it's a, it's a political number as it is a businessman's number. Management. Yeah, management. Management of time. And it occurred to me that sometimes you have to punch out <laughs> and go home. <laughs> and there's a gate. And it's a, it's, a, it's a gate between the two eights. So it's a four in its own hidden way that should be knocked upon. And when answered, when we enter therein, therein, which is the seven, which is the angle, which is the angel. So there's an angel standing at this gate. Probably with a fiery sword, he's not going to let anybody, he's all dressed in silver and he's going to just smack you down if you even try to walk through that door, right? <laughs> no, these, they present, it presents within the vibration and frequency of numbers that uh, we in consciousness should not have. What would you present through such a thing? Especially in light of power and control. Power and control. Time. Time. Um, look in space in space is the mother as the womb. Not the father. All the lights are in the womb. So time is the father deposited as light. And when you look through time, you see that it's the Ancient of Days is the mother. So the matrix is the mother. As space, as the father, is time. But if you just, if you say, oh, yeah, I, I, I agree. <clears throat> Without rationalizing. That that's one of those simple, simple, simple little keys that they switched on you from birth. And since the beginning of time, to teach you that the father's up there and the mother's down here. Mother nature, this is mother, and that the earth is the mother. And that we're not on a body, we're on a soul body. That we're just a portion, that's just one portion of that whole body. So we're on the genitalia, as the generations would be, between Mars and Earth. Male and female, he created he them, female. Iron, the Fey as it would be, if you knew of it, as it was once before, where the waters above mixed with the waters below, the whole thing in the body. Yeah, you know, the angels came down, mixed themselves, the seed of men, through the daughters, they're the seed of the daughter. They took of themselves. Wise amongst the daughters of men, and they mix their seed. An enmity was placed between his seed, the seed of the serpent, and the seed of the woman. Yeah. How interesting. And it's within the soul body because we ourselves are a pair of sight, because it's for those with eyes to see and ears to hear that we live off of the host body in consumption. Everything is in consumption of one another, one thing or another, another thing, another thing. Everything's in consumption. As we're in consumption of the whole body, we're in a relationship and we're not like boring a hole, like some disease. Well, are we? Well, it seems that people who have their head in the grave or on the horizon or rising, the Jezebel spirit, sleep to what's truth they actually dangle their own feet in plutonian ways and they have been for over 100 years now because well not for 100 years because well a little bit <clears throat> as it was developing that uh, nuclear energy you know plutonium uh was presenting itself now we had we had unrefined uranium and things like that and they were working with electricity but it wasn't the same as it was free and then it was controlled and it was just a source and then it became their god through power and control which is utilities 
So today is a, it is also about utilities. Yeah, and the abomination, if you knew about it. Of course it would be that which is above as to that which is below, but in the facility of the 88 gig. To comprehend it, comprehend what it was to give them that such an idol across the whole entire planet. Everybody is strapped to pay that bill, aren't they? Well, whoever Mr. Lightbulb is, he's really going for it, isn't he? And it's all for free. It always has been. So that sort of resource in strapping a human being so that they pay more and more and more and more so that the others can get rich, 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 rich. As a commodity themselves, that battery system, well, it starts to break down when you realize that the keys were switched at birth as simple as that we're in the matrix and we have yet to be born within the consciousness structure of what's about to present itself. A child is born in the heavens, a new son, and he returns with a rod of iron to rule the nations. Well, you would think that it has to do with energy. It has to do with the weather. It has to do with the crops. It has to do with the abundance that each country can be allotted through uh, a global um, conditional factor of such power. Why? So that they obey. Because otherwise, then they wouldn't get rain. If you don't get obey, if you don't, if you don't throw yourself upon the foot of the Almighty and realize who He is, and and lift up His people and follow His covenants. Well, then you, you don't benefit from the rain. And this time it's a latter rain. It's not like before. It's not like when everything was so abundant. No, this is a, been a partitioning, as it is a correction for restoration of the body because of the abomination and the poisoning of our water and our food sources in our air. And everything. It's very. Uh, disturbing that those would make such judgment calls as Bill Gates or any of the rest of them who should be absolutely locked up as criminals against humanity, against the child, against the womb. And how ironic that we're in a full moon uh, spectrum, which is a super full moon, but it's not because of two full moons, it's because of a sequence of four of the full moons that we find that it's presenting as a super, so it's a massive super full moon in Aquarius. And that's the serpent. So in Aquarius. So the master of the house returns, certainly. And he's gonna find who's been, uh, who's been uh, taking what was left, what was given into them and invested in them. And it's those investments they're going to present. So it's based on those investments that they're given their placement in their master's house. Yeah, as it's distributed amongst the servants. Because our master, your Lord, rises from the grave to heaven. He does. He's the first witness of Revelation. They suffered not to bury his body. They rejoiced and they gave unto each other gifts of the Spirit for its intent. And it's only been two days. And so Almighty God must cut these days short because of the, the mighty millstone. And the mighty millstone has to do with the one man who entered the wedding in heaven without a garment on. Found speechless. Yeah. So he's the servant. He was the servant. Who would have thought? Yeah. Amazing. Um, at any rate, 
Um, I think that with given you know given where we're facing, I know that the two seals are broken, and I'm thinking about the violence that's presenting itself through BLM, as Antifa, Fantifa, whatever you want to call them, Palestinian pro, um, all that movement that is the uh, black operations. Because it's CIA, it's a dismal side, it's all funded. You say, oh no, they're just operating here in the United States. They're just in Chicago for the rally to disrupt it, funded by what, Iran and Russia? When is the narrative going to get so old that we can see right through the DNC as the Jezebel itself? As that which would create such a mob mentality through democracy, which is theirs, as an oligarchy, which was not at all what we are, as this country is a republic, to return unto the public, to be given back to the public, to build unto the public. So when do we start building back onto the public? Yeah, so there has to be a great shift when it comes to the Mashiach. When it comes to being able to walk into authority and say, it's not a matter of me convincing you who I am, as the man is saying. It's a matter of gaining the respect that here's a man that would say it. Now let's hear what he has to say. To come out of sin and to see it for what it is from the beginning. Only so to translate it for you, because it's been misconstrued time and time again for its purpose, its own purposes, three unclean, so easy to see. And the Lord is in the grave. And it should be as simple as a child walking right into that kingdom in heaven. It should be so simple. And the convoluted nature of religion, the beast, the false prophet, the false prophet and the dragon, <clears throat> and then the, the, four, the four horsemen revealed through the sins of the Father. How simple it is. But it's built into our DNA. So, it's a construct in the matrix. And it's through what you know that can break through those doors, just like the 88 gate, just like being able to knock upon a door. Yeah. With the expectation of what? Respect of authority. It's not like it's my way or the highway. No, no, the authority comes with the respect. That's what it means by authority. Authority means that it's with written within me. It's not, it's not coming from some outside source. It's not some collective Zachariah Stitchin uh, reboot of the Anunnaki and Rob Skiba and the Nephilim. No, within the capacity of knowing what the Nephilim is and what it means, knowing that there's a city of joy that's called, it's a Nephilim city called joy, spoken of in Daniel. And so it's the mask of us. It's called Damascus, but it's the mask of us through the living word. It always has been since those Nazis performed the Holocaust. It's, it's so easily seen what they did. They clean themselves of the trash that they've always been trying to clean out, which suspectively is like, respectively is the Ixos all along. Still migrating through, trying to absorb and take, take, take. When you know it was Akhenaten who actually presented the Ten Commandments in his own in his own right, his, his monotheistic sun god worshiping, that it is not so much the Christos as it is the Mitra that was existing in that realm beyond the Pali, the multiple, the fractured. That was the Hyksos, 
there and go, yeah, I want his feet. And all this, but all worship as to what the Lord means. Well, you know what it means. Yeah. Yeah. For me, the Lord is the Messiah. He's the one that bridges the seraphim and the cherubim. The two different angels who have been separated for a long time in their own truths. And we're just a reflection of that. Because it's this it's heaven, it's heaven. And this is the stage of heaven. And they're not like you, are they? They're not like you and me. No. We don't exist as angels. We don't get to, to live in in all the finest and the and the greatest. We didn't we didn't get that. No, of course not. So there's such there's there's the little fireys, little fireys, and little little seraphim who are made of fire and light too. And then you have the little cherubim, the little fat ones, the little ones that look like humans and participated in creating humans and in their likeness as the Elohim, as the El Elohim, the act of him. Sure. Through memory, placed in an ark because you know they participated in that too. Yeah, they had their hand in the ball. <laughs> so, anyways, I, I guess I, I need to continue with that whole processing because it's going to unfold itself too. And turning the other cheek, you know, the Christian turns the other cheek. And uh, that means the love of the love of Jesus, the the grace of Jesus that they rely so upon, so much upon. It's important for them to now. The Lord tells them to turn the other cheek. So what's the other cheek? Well, it's the wrath of the Lamb, isn't it? <laughs> you, have the, you have the Book of Revelation, and so you know what's coming. And then other scriptures that would support such a thing that it's the wrath of the Lamb upon all the world so you're, you've got to do that and so one is love and it doesn't mean you're in hate no it's called righteousness love to righteousness righteousness is anger in heaven if you knew how they see this world because there's a war in heaven and that's how they see it right there on the stage of this world and how in contempt and well To everlasting life, but in contempt right now. I can't imagine that there's even a port of the angels that want to support what is on earth. What would you want to support? Well, of course, anything that's supporting the dragon, because that's the Christ head. Of course. So so it's not lost. It's only come kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Here. Give us our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into the temptations of evil, but deliver us, for thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. It's the Christ. That's the dragon. That's Christianity. And it gets, and that in itself is given a, a thousand years. Where Judaism is but a remnant. So Israel, 12,000 of 12 tribes, is just a speck of an eye of what's truth that's held, a remnant kept. So the beast of Revelation is going to be a remnant kept. Because it comes from the beast, of course it does. Judaism, as it is Zionism. As it is the same uh, uh, remedial, <laughs> not remedial, it's quite complex, building structure of this whole country. <laughs> it's our beginnings. From the beginnings. Yeah, that this country was built on Freemasonry, which is the very thing that the church created Islam against. The pirate, 
the pirate, the pirate. So the Ottoman Empire flourished through through the chastisement of all the world subjugated by that fucking sorry, watch my language. By that that uh, Vatican, by the Vatican itself through Rome, through its measurement upon that to shut them down through Europe. And thank God for the whole Anglican movement. Thank God for the Angle, which is Anglish, which is English, which had to grow. With, it's like a birth, like a child, a new language, a new people, a new understanding. And it's not just white as you would understand it, Caucasian as it is through Ephraim to bring it forth as it is through Manasseh to support which is all these other um, peoples surrounding the Romance languages and like, but they all contributed into it. Yeah, and the difference between the December twenty fifth and the and the uh, yeah and the king and the drawing and the quartering and the tower. Yeah. No, it's just amazing that, truth be known, history is not his story. And so it's a borrowed book as it continues to be embellished upon. And you can say, no, we have the dead, so we don't, we don't seem to understand. Paul's writings are not in there. There's a usurping. And it took over the whole world, didn't it? <laughs> All lit a call by that sand, and it's on the stage as a Pharisee. It would be as we were in this promised land. I hope I'm not going over my time, but it doesn't really matter because you know, Jeff can show up late or show up. I think he had to go grocery shopping, yeah, he might be out running around. So I better feed the cats. I should. Let me see what time I'm I've been talking a long time, right? For 37 minutes? Yeah. 4.40. Yeah, I'll do that. Go feed the kitties. It's enough talk. It's a it's a number eight day. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what can I say? And, um, yeah. I expect each horseman to get a month, but it seems like they're just rushing right through it, isn't it? Pumping out the ampox. Pumping out the ampox. Yeah, now everybody gets a little taste of it. This country got one. I got one. You got one. I got one. Hey, I got one. Who got one? Who, who, who? Who, the who? And we know where this went. We know where it comes from. And the fact that people feed into it with the with the articles, you know, it's like, well, they're expecting you to read those articles and put the scare because otherwise I'd never heard the articles. And I don't really care. That's not the why. The why oversees it all. Once you get the why, it's the uh, get rid of the J. You must start to realize that the living word is available. And there's you're gonna get it out of harm's way. Say, well, you're going, you know, they're all in Europe. Dying of a disease. Well, I don't know what's happening to me. I don't. I only know that neurologically, the cancer is affecting me. And I don't want to lose cognitive function. Now I can lose bodily function. And I can go through a lot of pain. And I can cry out. Utter horror until it finally shuts off. Or they medicate me enough to knock me out and knock me out and knock me out until I'm just sedated and lost in my ability to build strength, muscle endurance. But this isn't about, this isn't arthritic. This isn't about range of motion. No. I don't like it. Da, 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 da. No, this is not. The nerves just are not going to fire. Well, they're firing, they're just not going to let me. They're doing something to muscle, they're making the muscle collapse in the, in the process. So it's almost like the muscle can't even take its strength from the charge. It's just like a reverse charge. Ching! It's like, yikes! Yikes! What's that all about? So I'm stuck in the chair? 
Of course, I stand up straight and I can waddle. Yeah, to get to the door, but going downstairs is like, ah, ah. <laughs> it's all in my hips and my knees or knee, knee. I did feel something on the ankle earlier today and it just kind of diffused. Getting to the foot. Yeah. And if I could get it to the horizon, that horizon, um, then we can discharge outward. So flow, get it out. So, please do. Yeah. Yeah, feet. I'm always barefoot, you know that. <laughs> so that's not a question. I'm not, I haven't been wearing shoes for a long time. Let's say I have an appointment. Tomorrow, I have an appointment. And it's all morning. And uh, so early in the morning, I get dropped off and I have to wait around, walk around the hospital, act like I know what I'm doing, know where I'm going, knowing that my appointment isn't until 1045. All because there's no transportation for me. Well, there is, there's Jeff, but that can interfere with it. So then by after 1045, which is close to lunchtime, I'll be done with the procedure. By 1145, I'll be done and I'll be sitting outside on the bench and I'll call him and he can pick me up for lunch and he can have his lunch and go back to work. And this way he's not affected and uh, this whatever environment, work environment, can't give him no strife. So then we have to do it again on Friday. And then we have to do it again on Tuesday, on Tuesday. And then we have to do it again on that following Friday. That's right. That's right. And then I'm done with the month. And then I can present all this to the doctor. And then whatever takes I have then. And I'm, I'm hoping that since the shoulder did the stop the attack, and when I say stop the attack, it means I'm still numb. It's still numb. It's still sore. If I sleep, it's not attacking me. It's not breathlessness. It's not pain. I don't have to pack it with ice. It's the lower back now to the hips, right in the butt cheek, if I have to, right where the joint meets the pelvis, and then stretch down the leg to the kneecap. I have to put back ice there. So it's just shooting. So, oh, yeah. Lazy boy. <laughs> Lazy boy sofa chair. <laughs> Came with the remote. Well, it's the incline, of course, the width help. <clears throat> the suspension of the body in that, you know, five by, like a, like going to the astronaut, sort of, you can find that dip where all of a sudden, the hips aren't being stressed, the legs are suspended, the body feels comfortable, and I've got my laptop and a little drink and a little, you know, my cabana boy, and I got the sun, and I got the, and it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> it ain't happening. Yeah, it doesn't work that way, does it? That should go feed the kitty cats. I have a sense of humor. I do. As an inheritor of the zero, right? Being the son of perdition. But no one seems to want to understand or listen to, you know, whether it be my number, whether it be my wisdom, whether it be my whole life. In essence, that's what it is. It's my whole life's experience that relates me to get out of sin and through righteousness and to see it and to call it out. And actually, to start judging it. Yeah, start judging it. I've always warned. I always warned to that that it would come to that. Yeah. And so, what's the wrath? Well, it's only if when God believes what I'm telling Him, what I'm looking at, and what I think. Let Him take care of it. Why should I have to go around smacking, smacking the the bad ones? So I'm not going to go smacking people around. No, I'm not harassing people. I'm not. I'm. Not, I'm not intimidating people. I'm not attacking people. No, I'm telling them. You're selling God for a living. That's despicable. You're a pedophile. That's horrible. You're this. You're wrong. You're this. You're this. This needs to stop. And so the judge will come through if he's the true witness of God. 
and it's going to torment them. You know, it's like seeing fire fall in sight of men. Well, that's you within. When your whole life starts crashing around you, it's like fire falling right down inside, right inside of inside of you. It's your own life falling apart. In truth, yeah. And then to walk upon the water, well, we know that it has to do with Christianity because it's such vanity. And that cup is as we run it over, as they sell God for a living through a mark, a cross, and an image. And then claiming when all in all they've been worshiping the dragon. Promised unto them that they should, as the Christ, to deliver them. Because he covets you. That's what you want. It's what you've always wanted. So, and as far as Islam, well, cheeky, right? False prophet, you're just from the Jezebel. But you have a power, but you deny. Yeah. Well, that's perdition. So it's peace. You get peace. Through the Mahdi, of course. Because he's here. He can be identified. I'd like to shake his hand. Donald Trump. The Mahdi is the mad at B. As he is Osiris, he is Osiris. He is the dragon of revelation as he is the Christ. This is his millennial reign, bound by his word. And that scroll, that declaration, is what binds them from us from taking over such a system. They can't pull that Sharia bullshit here. Sure, take over your neighbors, those neighborhoods in Minnesota and trash, trash, trash. Go ahead. Trash Chicago like Mystery Babylon it is. But this is the day that it stops. Why? Because you don't have a candidate. No, you never did. And it was a lie, and it was a construct. Sure it was. Through the Jezebel, it was always a lie. There would be never anything other than that. <laughs> the DNC parlaying democracy, as if it was the republic. It's not. Poor kitties. I should go feed the kitties. You shouldn't have to listen. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> and it takes an inheritor to be able to step up. And 13th generation American, born in 13th, I'm 13th generation, and born in one of the 13 colonies, 13 months after my brother, who was born on thir October 13th, uh, Fatima anniversary, and then to be born on the 13th hour. Well, that, that presentation is here. That's the, the root and the branch of Jesse that's presented here. That this nation to open to open the constitution to say who is the inheritor who is the inheritor is if everybody's in debt if everybody's in debt and here's someone that's a zero then he inherits the whole fucking nation why because it comes from the beginning and y'all defaulted so the zero takes control of it as the inheritor. And you can't break it. You can't take it from him. He's the Lamb of God. And it's the wrath of the Lamb of God because this is the harvest supper of the Lamb. So that great wedding in heaven is realized as that mighty millstone strikes the sun in the soul body and not the earth. Such mercy to see that our infrastructure gets struck, that people are struck down to the most minimal basics. So, what? So that they crawl out of a hole because they believed in the system that was set up for them, where there's no more paper, where it's all just so digital, and they think they can keep it, they think they could hold it as control, as ownership. When it's, when it's a matter of stepping out your own door and taking care of that which you stand upon? 
that you are the custodial of the thing that you very much are consuming, the earth itself, that you would want to give back to it, that you would want to find a way to nurture it through family and nurturing. So you build a relationship with the family unit above so that there always is a mother and a father and there always is a child to give unto, that there always is a future. But in this case, well, there's a godfather and the father god is in, well, wallowing in the swine. As a parallel star system called the bright morning star. Twins, Satan and Lucifer. And Lucifer, who is hell, he who fell, is going to be recognized and restored. But that doesn't make him the Christian God. No, it doesn't. No. So we have the servant, as we have the dragon. And then we have the filing calf, which is all of mankind. And in consumption, we be, it's not what you eat that you become. No, little piggies. No, it's what eats you. And so in consumption of all, the Almighty, it all comes together as one. But in truth, he recognizes his son and restores him. And so through us, there are the remnant. And there, of course, is the Christ. Yeah. But the false prophet goes into perdition, which is peace. Which is being alone and isolated. And yeah. Sorry. It's like the bottomless pit, isn't it? Go into the black and the darkness where there's nothing, nothingless, nothingless. Not a place fit for the living. But that's everlasting if it's in contempt. And the other way is in life. And the Lord is about the truth, the life, and the way. So we see it. It's in your eyes. It's right there in front of you. It's all that you want to encompass. And it's not about chastising the flesh. It's not about chastising the flesh so that you Deny the flesh and you want to raise up and get raptured and get your holier than thou's. That's the multitude. Those are people who lost their lives in the Great Tribulation. Yeah. Well, sadly, that's what's about to happen. It is. So, God willing, the will is the scroll. And the two seals are broken, but now the third, so fast, that the fourth is, and then the fifth. And then the sixth with the great earthquake. Well, Dutch and Sense sure has been showing some great stuff, and there's volcanoes and stuff. But this, every, it's all for all the world, but it, that would be connected to the millstone, which you know if there was such a CME struck, that it would elicit such a worldwide catastrophe. And then it seems tribulation has to begin again. Because we're all here. We're all here. What did we do to the body? Do we remember the body? Were we serving the Lord's house? Were we taking care of the little ones? Hypocrites. Hypocrites. So the Sturgeon New Moon is Sturgeon New Moon today, or over the next yeah, 24 hours or so, is uh, think about Roe. Yeah, sturgeon is you think about Roe, which is eggs, which is the pomegranates that you see that are behind the high priestess card, because they're all the children of the womb of generationals that have been lost through such a thing has to slice through such a thing. Yeah, abortion is wrong. It has to end. It's the daily sacrifice. So, it's very important that you know that. Yeah. So. 
We're going to say deport John Ford. Yeah, because I may want to come back. Okay, signing out once again. Hope that was entertaining. I hope it goes through ears. I hope that Judaism opens up their ears. The rabbis say, hey, here he is. And I hope that Judah wakes up because, you know, it's here in the United States. And you can say, well, there's GMS and there's all the rest, but that's just uh, racism in its own right. Unless they can really hear the calling and know what it means. Yeah. That and why I'm here. And it's not to be your king, even though to be adopted as one of the sons or the son or the, the lion of the tribe of Judah. Well, that's an honor for the moment. Yeah, because I can't be here for very long. <laughs> so it has to pass on to David, you know that. But with that comes the rod of iron and the keys. And comes the correction. It comes the measurement of it. And from that, the discovery. It's all right here. Seven years of playing, playing it out. It's just my life. It's just it's decrepit. To find righteousness to judge all things. Sure. Why not? To know the difference. And to be so greatly affected by it. Physically, emotionally, spiritually touched by all the world. Yeah. To be of God. Yeah, that's important. Okay, talk to you soon. Take care. I'm just going to sit here. Bye.